Hello and welcome back to this week's, you hear me, week's general reading for all signs. It has been um, some time, okay, since the last reading. Why? Because oh, I have been consumed with the things of the things, okay? So, as you all know, listen, I ha I know the lighting is different. I have only one light on. I usually have one here, one here. I just don't feel like having all these lights on right now, okay? All right? Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, But it's been a lot going on. Great things going on. Um, mm, Some transformations going on. My goodness. Ooh, listen. We're all undergoing some spiritual surgery. Hello. Okay. And so I am, I am not excluded from that. People understand you're not by yourself. I get my, my, my jolting as well on a regular, Ooh, on a regular. Okay. But we are here and we're, we've changed the daily readings to weekly readings because come on here. Okay. And we're still doing the um, the biweekly uh, zodiacal signs for the for the you know sun moon rising things like that. Okay, all right, here we go. We of course we are reading from the modern witch tarot deck. This is by Lisa Sterl. I am purifying with none other than Florida water by Landman and Murray. I love Florida water, but of course, as per usual, I use, I, I choose to purify with Florida water instead of smudging, which I also love to do. I love to purify in different aromas, different perfumes, different oils, different smudging techniques, incense and lavender and white sage and dragon's blood, all of those things, right? Don't mind my chimes. But, but uh, for the sake of the video, I didn't want to obscure the camera, okay, with all of the smoke in the camera, on, okay? All righty, you all. So here we go. We're going to do this reading. You all know that I do not do card reversal readings because I do a pretty thorough reading, okay? Don't my, my chimes, my goodness. That's where I've been, okay? Dealing with all the chimes, all right? My goodness, my which I'm grateful. I'm not complaining, spirit. I ain't complaining. Okay, I'm grateful for the doors opening. I'm grateful for the doors closing. Hello, somebody. I'm grateful for all of the opportunities, all of the clients, all of the customers, all of the people that you have sent my way, that you are constantly on a regular flowing basis sending my way. I'm grateful. Um, I also, I also ask you to show me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. When it comes down to all of the people that are viewing the floods and floods and floods of patrons that are here to view, that are here to learn, that are here to grow, and that needs a message from you regarding the course of their week. I understand it is Wednesday, hump day, okay? But we can still get this joke on Wednesday, okay? Typically, we'll be doing these things on Monday. I usually, when I first started Patreon, I said that on Sunday and Monday, I will be uh, off because I need those days off. However, in order for you to have your um, your weekly reading, because I just recently changed it to weekly, then we got to start you off. You know what I'm saying? We got to start you off. So I think I might do the weekly reading starting on Sundays so that it can carry you all until the next Sunday. All right. I usually go live on um, the other platforms, Clubhouse. Facebook, YouTube on Sunday at 5 p.m. And right now, coming this Sunday, we are starting a book reading, a collective book reading um, by Brianna Weiss called The Mountain Is You. So definitely be there. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just make time. I'll just make time. That's all. I just make time to do the reading. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, starting February 5th, I will be starting with a new client on Sundays, um, but they're going to be scheduled for uh, 11 a.m. Okay. So we'll just, we just got to get up. You know what I'm saying? We just got to get up and get you all y'all reading. It's okay. Listen, it is time. It's time. We got our things that we got to get done and doggone it. Me too. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to shuffle about two more times. 
and then we're going to combine. This is a very, very thick deck, as you can see. Okay. All righty. We're going to shuffle about two more times. Well, we'll cut um, a rough cut. Okay. Listen, the people are reaching for me. Okay. Let me get this other card. One moment, the point for four. I'm going to disappear out of the frame. Okay. And I'm back. All right. I had to get that card because that may be a card for one of y'all. Hello, somebody. I don't want to leave it on the floor. Okay. Here we go. Clean cut. Boom. And boom. All right. Okay. Okay. Starting off fire. Come on, Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the moon. Okay. Then we have the fool. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Well, listen, you all, we're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start, okay? We're going to start um, midway through. This is Wednesday, okay? So for Wednesday, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the past position. We have the moon in the present position. We have the fool in the future position. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune here. Of course, when we see Wheel of Fortune, we see, you know, um, actually you see all four elements on all four sides, which means that it is all inclusive and all elements are here present and assisting you, okay? Assisting with what? Assisting with maybe breaking some of your cycles, helping you to break some of your cycles, helping you to get out of some of your cycles. However, in order for you to receive the fortune that the will has to offer you, you must, 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 must break the cycle. If you look at the, the Hebrew letters here, all of these Hebrew letters combined, they make the name of God, okay? And then look at T-A-R-O-T, so tarot, and then look at Torah going backwards, okay? Torah stands for law. Actually, when you if you look at the uh, high priestess, right? High priestess, um, in that card, she is holding a scroll that has Torah on it, okay? Torah means law. Torah means, uh, uh, you know, like rules, laws, things like that, or even for the high priestess, when we see her, she is like the lady of secrets and mysteries. So pretty much know that when she's present or when the Torah is present or when the tarot is present, then what they hold are the mysteries of things, you know, the secrets, the, the policies, the process, procedures and things like that, processes, procedures and things like that, things that you may or may not be privy to. Just trust the process. All right. But in this, we see, we see that when we see the will of fortune, we see we are backed by God, God-centered. We are backed by the law, okay? We are backed by mysteries. We, we have the mysteries going on. You're on the cycle. You're on uh, a flow, and you're backed by all elements. You have all use of all elements going on. You actually, actually have all types of opportunities, all types of chances, all types of... Uh, 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 um, open openness open doors all of those things but understand this and you see there's two positions that you can be in in the, on this wheel you have the position here where you are safe you are secure you are holding on to you are really 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 paying attention to what it is that you're be, that you're walking into what it is that you're being exposed to what it is the spirit is showing you but then you have this position up here where this person is very lax Okay, very chill, very humdrum, very, you know, I'm good, I'm straight, I'm safe, but they don't understand. What they don't understand is that this will turns. This will turns. And from where this person is positioned, this person is positioned in a place where once that will goes and starts to turn, they're not guarded. They're not sturdy. They're not planted. They're not holding on securely. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They're kind of left, you know, lax, too lax, a little too comfortable. Understand that, yes, you are back. Yes, there is law. There, yes, there are things that are going to be open opportunities, chances, things like that. Yes, you have the elements backing you and all of those things. But do not get comfortable. Do not get yourself to a place where you feel like, oh, you good, you safe, you straight. Okay? Because 
whatever the case, right? This has been your this has been your position over the course of, 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 of past times and things like that. You've been a little too too lax. Okay, you've been a little too lax. And so in this, we want you to tighten up. Tighten up. Okay, trust the process. Be don't be oblivious to things that are coming your way. Keep your eyes open open keep your neck on a swivel so you don't miss stuff you don't miss opportunities you don't miss great things that are trying to come to you okay all right because great things are trying to make their way to you okay then we have in the present position we have the moon when you see the moon there the face in the moon reminds me of the hermit card okay the face of the hermit when you see the hermit hermit represents to me the hermit represents introspective work going within looking within seeing within isolation isolation um leading to elevation isolation also can lead to you just sitting in your stuff okay you sit it in your stuff, all right? But when we see this, when we see the moon, the moon to me represents um, exposing the things that are hidden, all right? If the moon was not present, if the moon was not lit and present, then that means that what is lurking, trying to grab you from behind, because obviously you're not paying attention, what, what's trying to grab you um, is now seen as opposed to you being attacked, you you getting things just grabbing onto you, feelings, namely emotions. Whenever you see water, then you see feelings, you see emotions, you see all of those things that is really, 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 okay, um, dealing with your emotional state, your emotional health, you know, your thoughts, you know, your heart, um, hurts, fears, pains, lies, all of those things, lies, whether somebody is telling you lies or whether you're telling them to yourself. Okay. The moon card shows that it shows that it illuminates those areas inside of us that need, that need illuminating. Um, it, it shines a light on those, those corners, you know, of your heart, of your mind, because out of sight, out of mind. So just because you don't see them showing themselves or whatever case don't mean that they are not there because they are there. And that's what the moon shows. And when the, when the moon reflects those areas in you that need to be worked on, then you, my love, need to take a moment to pause and go within, face those things, really, really be honest with yourself about those things, and then change those things. Work on those things. Heal from those things. That is what your present is asking you to do. Now, here we go in the future position. It's the fool. Now we can see the fool. We can see the fool in, in two different uh, views here, okay? She is very, very free. She's zealous. She's willing. She has no, you know, preconceived notions. She's not coming in knowing knowing everything or thinking she knows everything or whatever the case. She is, she is, she's open. She's surrendered. She's ready for whatever. You know what I'm saying? She has nothing holding her back. If you see her little backpack, her little bag right here, she ain't got all this baggage. She is here. She's ready. She's willing to let go of whatever, leave whatever in the past and go towards the future or whatever the case. But at the same time, but at the same time, you with me? But at the same time, okay, and this can also can, can be talking about new beginnings and trusting and all of those things. But then look at the other side. This is why I don't do card reversals because I give you a thorough both looks, okay? And you know where you fit, hello, okay? The other side is two lacks, which going back to the Wheel of Fortune, too comfortable, not really caring or even taking an active step in your life, just like it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be, whatever the case, you just so distracted with whatever, ever, whatever is going on in life, whatever's around it. I mean, it is what I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. If you notice she got her headphones on, you know what I'm saying? She's just too busy in her 
you know, whatever chill mode, you know what I'm saying? That when it comes down to uh, where she's stepping, the direction she's going into, her steps, she don't realize that she's about to step right off of a cliff. And now little puppy here can be your spirit guides, can be your higher self warning you, can be the angels that are surrounding you to keep you from harm, can be your ancestors, it can be anybody coming to give you a fair warning like, hey, 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 wake up. What are you doing? Wake up. Snap out of it. Come on, let's get active. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. There's some stuff trying to, listen, things are trying to, hello, pay attention. What are you doing? Come on now. You're a little too comfortable. What are you doing? All right. So this right here can be us open, trusting, open to new beginnings and all of those things. But it can also be us being for, fairly worn. Pay attention because the way you're walking and the, the, the way you're stepping right now without looking around, without keeping your head on the swivel, without paying attention, without actively, actively, like actively uh, 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 listening and then stepping in that direction of, the, of what you hear then what will happen is you'll find yourself back in a place of trouble because you didn't safeguard yourself. You didn't realize you weren't paying attention to the fact that this wheel is turning back around and you might want to get a grip. You might want to grab a hold. You might want to hold on tight. You might want to pay attention. You might want to be a little more intentional with what you do, where you go, where you do it, how you do it. And you're being guided. You're being helped. Right? You're being helped. So, go within. Pay attention. Align yourself. Reconnect yourself. Focus on those areas that need to be focused on. And sure enough, sure enough, you'll get to that that uh, fortune. Okay? All right. We're going to pull three more cards here. That's good. That is good. Realigning. Resetting. We got a little too comfortable. And notice I'm saying we. Because again, I this is general reading for all signs. I am not above this, okay? We've gotten a little too comfortable, y'all. We've gotten a little too comfortable. And when I tell you, there's been some messages that I myself have heard from spirit and I have given to the public and I've had to replay them from last year, two years ago. And I'm like, whoa. Where are you in this? Where are you? Snap out of it. What are you doing? Let's come on now. Don't get, don't get lax. Don't get comfortable now. Don't get comfortable now, sis. Oh, no. That's dangerous to get comfortable now. We in the thick of it. We in the thick of it. Let's get those areas. Man, let's bust some of these, some of these issues in the face. Come on now. Let's reveal some of those areas, man. And let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's go within. Let's be honest with ourselves. Come on now. We know. We know that there are some things that we need to really, 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 really tighten up on. Because we done got a little too comfortable. Okay? We done got a little too lax. We done got a little too distracted. We have, man. We have. Okay, clean cut. Let's go. Let's see. What else we got? Two of Wands. Tighten up in that work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seven of Cups. This is our spiritual emotion. Mm, yep. Jeez. Temperance. Okay. Listen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. First of all, again, when we see wands, we see, this is two of wands. When we see wands, we see career. Whenever we see wands, y'all know, whenever we see wands, we see things about career. We see things about our creativity. We see things about our, you know, um, how we how we make our money, things like that. When I tell you these chimes are going off, every single one, I'm going ahead, I'm going to put that out there. Every chime, every time my phone rings, every time a notification comes through, that is an order, that is a service, that is money, that is opportunity, that is an interview, that is a panel, that is a hello. 
every single time, every single time, every single time, every single time. Hello. All right. All righty. So here we go. And when we see wands, we see creativity, we see career, we see ambition, we see our will and all of those things. OK, so but two of wands, when we see two of wands, two of wands represents the force, a force behind it, a force to a force behind, you know, pulling yourself into your, into your, more into your creativity, more into your career, more, see, on top, oh, okay, it's on top of the Wheel of Fortune, when it comes, when I tell y'all I'm receiving this, whoo, I'm getting good punched, okay, when it comes down to your career, we've been too comfortable. When it comes down to the things of our creative space, when it comes down to the things of our ambition, we didn't got too comfortable. Our focus is God-centered. Our focus, our focus, our focus, our careers, our purpose, our passion is backed by the very, the infinite intelligence, the very law, the systematic work of the universe is backed. It is backed by all elements. It is backed by all spiritual forces. It is backed by all things. But we have gotten too comfortable. We've gotten too comfortable in the area of our work our mission, our we mm, we stop being creative. We stop being ambitious. Mm, our will has been stripped. Our will, that drive, that push, we're being called to turn it back up. 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 Turn it back up, turn it back up, turn it back up, turn it back up, turn it back up. Okay, turn it back up. Next, we have the seven of cups. If you see all of those cups, you see every single one of those cups has something in it, right? Every single one of those cups has something in it. Okay, seven of cups. When we see the seven, First of all, when we see cups, cups are is talking about your ambition, your will, love, relationships, all of those things. When we see cups, we see all of those things. But when we see seven of cups, it is talking about your feelings about all of those things. Notice all of those cups are sitting in clouds. I'm trying to keep from breaking down. Man, this thing is on my neck today. What are your thoughts? What has your thoughts been about your areas of love, money, health, ambition, security, home, finances, Career, what has your thoughts been? What has your thoughts been? What has your focus been? It's sitting on top of the moon. Introspective look feelings, shadows. What has your thoughts been about those areas in your life? What has your thoughts been? What are your feelings about this? Have you lost zeal? Have you lost a passion? Have you been talking negatively? Have you been talking complacently? 
because thoughts become things. If you got too many unresolved issues, if you if you're being chased by your fears, oh, if you're chased by the lies, if you're chased, what are you telling yourself? What are you telling yourself? What are you telling yourself? What are you reflecting on? Because I can guarantee you that if you feel like you can't come from up under a lot of things, it's because of your thoughts about those things. It's because of your words about those things. It's because of your feelings about those things. Mm. What have you been thinking? What have you been feeling when it comes down to these things? You change your thoughts. You change your livelihood. You change your thoughts. You change what comes to you. You are a magnet to everything that you dwell on. You become a magnet to everything. If you feel like you can't, you will not. Whether you think you can, whether you think you cannot, either way, you are right. Stop talking about, well, I, I'm not going, I don't want to do this and I don't want this and I don't want, I don't want to be in, in poverty. I don't want to be, I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to have, I don't want my bills cut off, my utilities cut off. I don't want, I don't want to run out. Of, I don't want to not be able to pay. Stop saying that because the more you think about or speak about the obstacle, oh, the more you think about or speak about the obstacle, the more you draw it to yourself. Instead of saying, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, I'm not going to do, say, I have abundance from all sides, in all areas, for all things. My health is 100%. My love life is at 100%. I am love and I am love, duh. Money comes to me every day. Money is comfortable with me. Money finds me a friend. Money finds me a, an ally. Money loves being with me. Opportunities find me. Opportunities find me. Doors open for me. Right now, things are being made way for me. I am secure. I am protected. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. My drive is fire field. I am passionate. Everything that I touch prospers. Everywhere that I go belongs to me. Start saying those things. Repeat those things. Stop saying the circumstance. I don't care if you're telling the truth about it. It doesn't matter. The more you speak about the circumstance, the more you see the circumstance. What are your thoughts about your life? About the areas of your life? What are your what are your what are your feelings about it? What are your words? I'm telling you now, the reason that you feel it is because that's what you're drawing into yourself. The reason that you're constantly seeing it is because you're constantly saying it. You're constantly thinking it. You're constantly feeling it. Ah, y'all come out of that place of emotion, man. I know it, 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 it seems difficult. I know it's uncomfortable, but this too shall pass, much like everything else. You got a whole cycle going on, but understand that that cycle is God-centered. You are covered on all sides. Just brace yourself. Understand that this is not punishment. It is positioning, my love. 
Shifting is uncomfortable. Ooh, I feel it so heavy in my chest. Shifting is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, honey. I'm going to plug up my, my laptop because I don't want to lose this. And I don't need no distractions. None. Shifting is uncomfortable. Shifting is uncomfortable. Stay the course. Don't be distracted. Don't go, don't go into your old thinking. Don't fall back into your feelings. Don't do that. Reconnect your drive. Reconnect yourself. Okay? You shall have whatsoever you say. You shall have whatsoever you think. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you don't think you'll ever have this stuff, if you don't believe that you'll ever have this stuff, if you don't, if you don't know that you'll ever have this stuff, I'm telling you now, it will be a dream. It will be in the clouds. It will be a hope. Until you align with the things, until you align with what it is that you want versus what you don't want. Don't give any don't wants, can't have, won't do, don't give that stuff any power. No. See yourself where you want to be, see it already done, and speak from that place. Don't you let another negative word come out your mouth. I don't care what the situation look like. Look like. That's what you do. Okay? And then we have the temperance. Then we have the temperance. Okay? Now, when we have... Uh, my dog is over here too. Okay? Now, when we deal with the temperance, what we have to understand here is what you see is you see an angelic power. You see the cups. You see the, the angel pouring from one to the other. I see this as the forces behind you working on an elixir, okay? Working a solution. The sun on at its back, powering it up, okay? Powering it up. In all spaces, one foot on the firm rooted foundation, one foot in the water that, that also represents your emotional state, your mental state, your feelings, your heart space, aligning you with self, aligning your heart to your root, to your foundation, working it out for you, for you. It doesn't matter. Listen, when I tell you, understand this. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it looks like. All right? Working it out for you. This is alchemy right here. Okay? This is alchemy right here. Patiently. Mm, patiently. Working it out for you. Just ride the wave. You're covered. You're covered. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It doesn't matter what it looks like, babe. It don't matter. It don't matter. It belongs to you. This stuff wants to find you. It wants to come to you. Just sit back and, and trust. You just do the work. You just do the work, okay? You just do the work. You do the work. Let spirit handle the stuff. Come on, do the work. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Tighten up, okay? All is well. All is well, y'all. All is well. 
All is well, y'all. <laughs> All is well, y'all. All is well. I promise y'all. Listen, I, I'm I take I took every single word of it. Okay. Period. Every single word. Every single word of it. Okay. Period. I love y'all. Come on, man. We in this together, y'all. We in this together. Like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Reboot, 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 reset. It don't matter what it look like. We ain't concerned about the things that we see. We, we're, we're, we're focused on the things that we don't see. Because the things that we don't see, we know those are more serious. Those are more permanent things than anything that we can see. The things that we can see, y'all, these things are temporary. This stuff is subject to change. You are the alchemist. You call things that be not as though they were. You speak life to your situation. Stop speaking death over the stuff that you got going on. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. You can have $5 in your pocket. I am abundance. I am rich and not poor. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am above and not beneath. Hello, I am the head and not the tail. That's what you speak. And the more you speak, the more you line up, the more you know, the more you feel, the more you align with those words that you say, the more you will become a divine magnet to the things that, that you're speaking and saying. Mark my words. And it won't take long. This stuff is, this stuff is purpose for you. This stuff is meant for you. Do you not understand that the things that are here are for you. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to be sad. You don't have to be lonely. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be. You don't have to do this. You don't have to. So stop putting yourself there. Stop keeping yourself in that position. Pull yourself out. That's the power that you have. And get back to work. Period. I love you. Okay? We'll see you next week. That's your focus this week. Period. <laughs>